August 15th, 2015. Today I want to go over Accelerate. This is a product review for advancing eco agriculture. And uh, we're going to jump right to the product page on Accelerate. And uh, I'm going to read it to you because uh, <laughs> I don't think I would do it justice. It's justice if I tried to describe it by paraphrasing. So, Accelerate is a nutritionally based reproductive stimulant. Accelerate is a nutritionally based reproductive stimulant that combines a series of minerals and plant extracts that enhance the natural reproductive function of many plants and dramatically increases flowering and fruit set. Accelerate blends multiple advancing eco agriculture products into a single formula that has been shown to increase pest, uh, disease and pest resistance throughout the crop season. Uh, features and benefits. Provides natural plant growth compounds. Maximizes plants reproductive capacity. Increases bud, flower, or tuber production. Helps to reduce blossom abortion. Improve, improves plant nutrient uptake. Okay, where and how to use. Accelerate is best used as a foliar application one to two weeks prior to flowering for single fruiting crops or throughout the season for multiple fruiting crops. Accelerate is effective on a wide range of crop types with either single or continuous fruiting habits. Uh, fruiting habits. Accelerate also increases tuber set for crops that re reproduce independent of flowering. Maybe tanks tank mixed with other fertilizers, and a jar test should be conducted with mixing accelerate with any other product, as with any product you would use. Um, so here's a couple of pictures. Um, this two different types, two different uh, basil pictures. Uh, the basil plant blossom, uh, the basil plant blossom acres produce is infested with downy mildew, and you can see on that leaf the downy mildew and then this is the same plant five days after the application of accelerate uh, note the huge increase in branching and absence of downy mildew so you notice that plant just exploded this is only five days later uh, in response and let's see here's uh, green beans in Connell Washington notice that the plant is close to harvest and is still loaded with blossoms and pushing bean pods and uh, I know I've shared that with some of my beans and uh, maybe I'll even take a stroll down there and get you a clip of my beans. Um, but I wanted to just do a review on this product. I've been using this product for I think about two years now and I found it to be really, really beneficial, especially for tomato and pepper production and uh, also for potatoes, even though, uh, even though I lost a lot of my potatoes to the Colorado potato bug, but that's a whole nother matter. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is just go through and show you uh, my tomato plants and uh, you can see that I do have some of what people call blight. I, uh, I see that as just a potassium deficiency. Like I said uh, in the preface video here, this soil is not really built up to par yet. And so I'm working more off of foliar feeds and building my soils through the use of foliar feeds and mulches and some manures, but it's not there yet. Anyway, to stay on subject, uh, accelerate You'll notice that even though that there's some blight coming on here, there are new tomato, there are tomatoes ripening on the plant. There's new tomatoes sizing on the plant. There's tomatoes that have finished flowering or just starting to set fruit. And then there are flowers that are open up here on top. So despite all that, and despite the fact that we've had rainy weather for the past five days, um, these plants continue to grow and produce and flower. And those flowers are not aborting. Those flowers will continue to develop fruit. Um, on an evolving scale and I'll just show you you know there's there's all different sizes and stages here so this plant continues these plants continue to flower and fruit and we'll go down and take a look at these crimson beefsteak which I find to be uh, a little better at managing these wetter weather conditions and you can see these things are absolutely out of control right now just taken off um, and we've got lots of nice uh, ripening crimson beefsteak tomatoes showing on here and once again we have ripening tomatoes we have sizing tomatoes we have the next sizing of tomatoes we have even bigger tomatoes up top here we have new flower set and again here and when I look through all these plants I have not found any flowers aborting um, that is a big part of that is because of advancing eco agriculture's tools and educational materials and then their products to back those tools and educational materials like Accelerate and Accelerate has really made a big difference for me so 
Uh, here's just some uh, some nice ripe crimson beef steaks. Uh, they're doing really well, and they're healthy, happy plants overall. So uh, we'll just go over here quick and take a look at the uh, the hot peppers. These are jalapeno peppers here, and uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, take a look at these. And you can see the same thing happening here. Uh, we're not quite at the fruiting phase yet, like we're just starting to set fruit from the flowers. Let's see if I can get you a decent view here. But you can see there are flowers exploding all over these. I just started, I just triggered these off with Accelerate, um, I don't know, about a week or two ago. I started uh, turning up the amount of Accelerate in my foliar feeds. And uh, you can see all sorts of new growth and uh, all sorts of flowers coming on. And these plants are going to be absolutely loaded with jalapenos. And actually, here we are. Here's some, uh, some young jalapenos just starting to develop. So that's pretty exciting. So, uh, so this is what Accelerate has done for me. So I guess my overall view is this is an A++ product. Uh, if you have a, a farm, especially if you have an organic farm, and uh, you really want to get the next level of gain in productivity and soil and plant health. Uh, Accelerate is a really awesome way to do that. It takes a very small amount of material to go a very long ways because you're increasing the photosynthesis and letting the plant do more of the work rather than trying to just build soil without the help of the plants. So um, uh, we'll just go down and take a look at the beans quick too. and. Uh, I'll show you those and how many beans are set on those. Also, here are some uh, hot cherry peppers here. They're also doing well. So we'll go take a look at beans now. Okay, so here we are in the plot with yellow wax beans. I um, just want to point out that there are flowers and new beans set in on these plants, despite the fact I'm letting these go to seed for the most part. And I've been munching some, but. I'm mostly just going to let these go to seed and have a nice seed run for next year. But uh, my point is, despite the fact that these are loaded with beans and they haven't been picked off, these plants have enough energy and enough nutritional and hormonal support to keep going. And so they're still setting flowers and still setting beans, and uh, they're not done yet. I also should point out that even the ones that are down here, uh, I've got a woodchuck or rabbit or both issue getting in here and chewing a lot of these leaves off. Uh, even these, who are missing a lot of leaves and have taken a lot of damage and stress, are still setting flowers and new beans on, left and right. So, uh, what an incredible product. Uh, so, uh, we'll just go up and take a look while we're in here at the basil. The basil has also had uh, Accelerate in its foliar feed program, and uh, you can see it's doing really well. Tons of different wild pollinators in here. There's two types of basil here. This is a lemon basil, and this is a sweet Thai basil. This makes the absolute best pesto I have ever had. Get your hands on some sweet Thai, sweet Thai basil if you haven't tried it. Anyway, you can see these plants are doing really well. Uh, no disease or pest issues in here. They're healthy, happy, solid plants. So. Thanks to Advancing Eco Agriculture for your wonderful educational tools and your wonderful products. Um, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. If you have questions or comments, don't be afraid to ask questions or comments down below. And if you want to know more about Accelerate, I recommend you call Advancing Eco Agriculture or email them and contact them directly. Um, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.